Hey, what's up guys, Koi here, back again with a video on the channel, and today we are back with our Dragon Ball Legends video, and today we're doing a bit of a different type of video, we're not doing a gameplay video, which is normally what you would typically expect from me, um, we're not doing a speculation video, well, eh, kinda to an extent, not really, but also not, I still have to do my speculation video in terms of what units do I expect, you know, I expect we're gonna get during the anniversary, I still haven't done that video, at least at the time I'm recording this, I haven't recorded that yet, but I am working on it, alright, I will get that out pretty soon maybe it might already be out by the time this video goes up i don't know how i'm gonna like schedule this we'll see how everything goes i guess uh but no we're gonna be doing a concept video today so over on twitter i actually asked you guys you know which by the way you know you should follow me over on twitter you know at corner 3 link in the description and always is in the description as well as also you know uh, join the discord server you know if you want to and also uh, check out my tiktok you know pretty pretty cool content over there and all stuff so there's that but anyways you know plugging stuff yeah uh, over on twitter i'll show the poll right now i actually put up a poll basically uh between four different units whether or not you know basically i'll I let you guys decide who i actually would end up doing a kit concept for actually because i just wanted to mess around just have some fun actually uh and just basically make my own like custom made kit for like a character and also see how i would design you know a certain unit or whatever you know so, so there's that but in terms of who actually won the poll it was the mui goku actually i believe the options were a tag super saiyan 4 goku and vegeta mui goku obviously a gogeta blue and then a super saiyan 3 uh dragon fist goku actually and mui goku was the winner so there's that so obviously we're gonna be doing him first as you can see here right now so yes i did finally well i did get to uh making a cool you know custom kit concept that went over on dbz space and all that and just basically edited i just took what well, i think eight vegeta i think as the base which is why it says vegeta here up on top and i just basically just edited the kit just to my liking and just made my own custom kit basically for the boy mui goku so there is that's so we're gonna go over today might as well just to see how busted i made him i did make him pretty good i'm gonna say that right now i didn't make him broken good at the very least i don't think i made him broken good but I made him pretty good. If you hear anything in the background, right now it's literally storming outside, and I don't know why I'm recording this right now, but I'm gonna try and record as quick because I don't want lightning to strike close by and then ruin my whole setup. So it has happened in the past, and I don't want it to happen again. So uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, MUI Go Grayer the boy. I made him a red sparking legends limited unit. Made him a melee type as well. I don't. Uh, yeah, I do think. I do think it would probably be better for him to be a melee type because God Key, I would say a lot of their best units are actually melee based, being LF Blue Vegeta. Kyle can Blue Goku's range base, but he is kind of balanced. He can do pretty solid strike damage and all that. We do have uh, Corrupt Emerge Zamazu, who's pretty good right now. Beerus, who I guess is their best blue, but you're not really running Beerus. So I don't know. Maybe I could have made him a range type, but I think melee type is fine enough anyways. So there's that. There's not really anything in his kit that really makes him like he's super strike oriented. I didn't do his stats, by the way. I didn't bother doing his stats because I don't. I. I, I just can't be bothered to edit the stats so just, let's just imagine he has really really good stats simple as that all right not ui sign goku stats with terrible defenses but actually overall good stats just imagine that sure whatever uh in terms of the main ability we do have the main ability i'll make you pay hopefully you enjoy my uh my naming uh for the main ability and also the unique abilities when we get to them and all that so there's that but the main ability uh draw the ultimate arts card godlike assault next crazy name i know uh restores own health by 30 percent and key by 50 increases own health card draw speed by one level for 20 counts and restores own vanish cage by 100 percent and also uh lowers the enemy's health restoration or all enemies health restoration actually by minus 50 percent uh for 30 counts and also cancels enemy attribute upgrades so uh the main ability is pretty good i basically took uh notes from ui sign goku with the fact that he gets uh he actually cancels enemy buffs the enemy's buffs sorry uh so i decided to give that to mui goku might as well since it would kind of make sense and it is a good ability actually very useful ability for sure uh so, you know i made him draw an ultimate since he's literally an lf unit obviously i, I do presume that he w i would assume that ui goku would be an lf first i know some people are thinking he might be an ultra but personally i would much rather prefer for him to be at least come into the game uh for the first time ever at least as an actual lf unit just a normal lf unit. they could throw him as an ultra lf if they want to introduce that right now but i would much rather prefer for him just to be a normal lf unit so that's why i just made him an lf so there's that so he's gonna draw an ultimate uh game level one card draw speed for 20 counts not really too crazy but not too bad honestly like it's it, it's solid it's a solid ability gave him vanish restoration might as well just to further emphasize the fact that he's mui goku you know he's mastered ui goku so he's gonna be absolutely dodging every 
everything, all right? Yes, I did give him a unique gauge, but might as well just allow him to dodge even more on top of that. And plus, the unique gauge doesn't allow him to dodge absolutely everything anyway. So, you know, it's a nice ability to have there. And then the health restoration debuff more so just to kind of counteract certain units right now in the meta that do heal quite a bit because we do have quite a lot of units in this meta that uh, do heal quite a bit, like, you know, Goku and Vegeta are obviously still pretty somewhat relevant. 17, 18 actually, you know, heal quite a bit when they combo, especially when you swap into 17 and all that. Kalk and Blue Goku actually, Ultra Gogeta and all that. Like Angel Golden Frieza actually can heal quite a bit. So it's very nice to actually have uh, health restoration debuff to the enemy. So there's that. Uh, as well as also it does combo pretty well with another portion of his kit, which we will get to in a bit. So there's that. So now we move on to the first unique ability right here. This is our power. Yes. This is our power. Yes, this is my power because I literally made the kit. Anyways, let's just move on to unique ability. Uh, Fly the Fire Effects to self when battle starts. 100% damage inflicted cannot be cancelled. I know that seems kind of crazy, but it's, it's honestly not. Like, we got units now. We have units nowadays that start out with around this level of damage inflicted as soon as the battle starts, if not even above. If I'm not mistaken, Kalkin Blue Goku, he gets 110% damage inflicted when he enters the battlefield or when the battle starts straight up. So... It, it, it's not that crazy. It's really not that crazy, honestly. So there's that. I uh, gave him 50% damage reduction because I do want him to tank decently well. It's obviously, I could, it could be higher, but it's also not too bad. Honestly, a 50% cut on top of him having good stats. Like I said at the beginning, just imagine he has good stats. All right, should combo pretty well. So there's that. 50% uh, to key recovery. So you know, that way he doesn't really have any key recovery issues and all that. Uh, gave him level one card draw speed permanently at all times. So obviously, you know, now that you know he has level one card draw speed here, combo that with the main ability. He gets extra card draw speed at that point he would have level two card draw speed actually for 20 counts when he pauses main ability so pretty good ability pretty good ability so there's that uh yeah anyways uh and also he actually does nullify special cover changes for the first 60 counts from the battle or from the start of the battle so obviously i took that ability more so it was inspired from the uh, recent uh sparking weiss actually since he does have this ability actually uh so i decided to give the ui goku might as well since it's a pretty good ability. I could have just given him the ability where he just nullifies special cover changes like when he swaps in for like three times, up to three times or whatever, just like OG to blue or whatever. I feel like this was better, honestly, for the first 60 counts. And it, like, it, it's good. It's definitely very good. That way you don't have to deal with any special cover changes and it's not too broken because eventually it, wear, it will wear off to a certain, at a certain point in the match. So there's that. As well as also he's immune to abnormal conditions. So that means stuff like faint, paralysis, bleed, all that stuff he's just completely immune to. So... You know, there's that. So that's pretty good. And then he gets extra buffs when he enters the battlefield. He does get 30 key when he enters the battlefield. I decided to give him some key because I always like it when characters actually do get some form of key when the, when they enter the battlefield, especially combo that with card draw speed. It does help with like combo extension and all stuff. And yeah, so overall just a pretty nice ability to have. So there's that. As well as I also did give him an extra 50% damage inflicted when he enters the battlefield. So at that point, his max damage inflicted would be 150% damage inflicted. So there is that. So or that that point is definitely looking a lot better for sure in terms of damage inflicted so it's not it, there's all Aussie characters that can get higher than 150 percent but we haven't gone through the full kit yet all right anyways uh as well as also you nullify that true downgrades for 15 counts activates up to three times so basically that means i guess when he enters the battlefield he'll be immune to be getting debuffed i guess so pretty useful so i'll take that anyways yeah uh, as well as also i did decide to make him a bit of a last man standing unit right here so i actually took this idea more so from ls and for goku actually since ui goku technically he's he's not he's kind of last man standing but also not really because 17 golden frieza or 17 and frieza sorry uh we're still lurking around somewhere in the tournament while Goku and Jiren were fighting, but at that moment, he did feel like the last man standing since at that point, we didn't know Frieza and 17 were still out and about, you know, somewhere in the tournament, still lurking around in the shadows or whatever. I don't know. So there's that. So I basically just decided to give him some last man standing buffs and all that stuff. So obviously, per defeated battle member, he will heal himself by 10% HP. He does get an extra 20% damage inflicted uh, per defeated battle member as well as he does get 15% damage reduction, 25% key recovery, sorry, and 20% to ultimate damage inflicted as well so obviously if he's last man standing you know only your character left and all that he would heal up to 20% HP. He would get an extra 40% damage inflicted. So at that point, what is peak damage inflicted would be 190%, you know, comboed with good stats, you know. So there's that as well as also at that point, he would get an extra 30% damage reduction. So it would be at 80% sustained damage cut as well as also he would have 100% key recovery at that point. So he's getting an extra 50% here combo with the extra 50% that he already has. So 
pretty good. Key recovery at that point. He's not going to be struggling for key whatsoever. And then also uh, the extra ultimate damage. So what, he would have an extra 40%. Uh, so his ultimate would hit very hard, especially combo with just his raw damage inflicted, high stats. So there's that. So he's going to be pitting pretty hard. It's going to be a very dangerous last man standing unit for sure. Because he should be pretty uh, sustainable in terms of tanking and all stuff as well. Damage should be very good. And also he shouldn't have any key issues and all that. So as well as he does have card draw speed all that stuff so there's that uh so that's his first unique pretty good pretty good now we move on to the second unique ability uh, by, by the way if you haven't if you didn't notice i made them uh, little essays because uh, literally every anniversary unit that comes out they always have to have a whole essay to their kit and it makes it just makes them feel more intimidating when you actually look at their kit so that's what i kind of went for here as well so yeah, I think I, I definitely nailed it pretty well. Uh, but anyway, second unique ability, Perfected Instinct. When this character performs a cover change, knocks back and knocks enemy back to long range. So basically, I just gave him the same ability that UI Sign Goku has, as well as also a Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, where they have a cover change against strike, both strike and blast cards. So I decided to give that to him, might as well. I actually, I, in terms of what I think the animations would look like, I think the strike cover change, we still don't have this in the game, actually. Could be maybe when uh, Goku, like, this was when he was UI sign but still like they could add this where basically i believe this is when he first went ui uh or ultra instinct when topo and dispo attacked him and he just like put up his arms like this and then just grabbed both of their attacks and then just flung them around like uh, that could be a pretty cool cover change obviously you know it'll be a little different since it would just be a 1v1 situation in game but still we don't have the animation whatsoever at all in the game so it would be a pretty cool strike cover change as well as also the blast cover change i guess it would probably be when i guess he was just dodging the attacks like when i know there was a portion of the fight where jiro was just spamming key blasts against mui goku and he was just dodging like crazy just running around and all stuff evading them i'll probably put up some clips on you know on on the screen and all stuff when i'm editing this video so that way you know exactly what i'm talking about so there's that i guess that will be his cover changes so pretty cool and all that stuff as well as also again of course it's ultra instinct goku i had to include the unique gauge of course the auto dodge gauge and all that so there's that so it's pretty much the same thing he dodges the same stuff and all that but the only thing that i did change was how much uh the how much you consume of the gauge when you actually dodge an attack so before you assign goku i believe he consumed 30 percent of his unique gauge in order to evade an enemy attack i said i decided sorry i decided to drop it down to 20 percent since at that point it would allow you to dodge up to at max five attacks at that point as well uh compared to ui sign goku which you would only be able to dodge up to three attacks and do keep in mind the unique gauge is gradually decreasing as you keep him on the battlefield so there's that so i don't think it's like too crazy it's obviously good you know you can just sit there and just dodge an attack for free but it's also not like the most broken thing ever i could have just easily made it that it just didn't gradually like decrease as time went on but i want that at least a little bit of like a balance factor i guess because i know legends it feels like sometimes they don't really care about balancing when they release certain units but you know it's also not the greatest idea to make characters super busted because then at that point it just it, it, it's not good for the state of pvp and the meta and all that so there's that they have to have at least some drawbacks at least some drawbacks at least there has to be a bit of balance all right so there's that i don't know whatever uh, and then he actually did give him endurance uh reason why is because there was a certain part in the fight at least uh you know versus mui goku versus full power jiren where jiren knocked down goku and he was down for the count and then at that point you know goku seemed like he was done for and then that's when eventually he did finally you know get himself back up with the help of his friends and all stuff cheering him on he eventually found the strength to get back up and all stuff it's I'm, if i'm not mistaken it's literally the revival mechanic or the revival animation for uh lr uh master ui goku and dokkan actually so i could literally just put that up on screen actually and just you guys would be able to tell what moment i'm referencing from so i decided to take you know reference from that and just give him endurance i know i maybe could have given a revival mechanic but i decided to give him endurance right might as well i don't know sure whatever anyways uh, as well as also i did give him uh an anti-revival mechanic might as well sure i could have just made him just straight up nullify revival but that would be a bit too broken all right at that point okay <laughs> that would go against what i just said earlier so i decided to give him an anti-revival mechanic is a pretty good one basically i just made it so that way when you cause the character to revive they literally can't play the game basically uh to an extent basically he reduces your key to zero when he causes the character to revive he destroys all your enemies cards he lowers our card draw speed by minus one level for 15 counts and he lowers our health restoration again by an extra 50 percent so obviously especially if you've been saving your main ability or maybe you pop your main ability like somewhat prior to causing a character to revive or whatever at that point 
you know, you combo this like health restoration debuff with the one from his main ability, uh, your enemy's not going to be healing at all, basically. Your opponent's just going to be sitting there just wondering why they're not healing anything. So pretty good ability. Again, there's quite a lot of characters in this meta that do heal quite a bit and all that just constantly. So it is nice to have some form of, you know, health restoration debuffs to apply to the enemy and all that stuff. It is a pretty good effect and all that. So there's that. So there's that as well as also I, I did add it to the main ability not only just so that way you can combo with the anti revive mechanic but also so that way you have another alternative way of being able to at least you know apply a health restoration debuff to the enemy because obviously not all the time you're going to be fighting against revival units so you're obviously not going to be getting this effect all the time you know or just in general all of this so i decided to give it to his i decided to uh, put in his main ability so that way at least he has another way of still applying it even if he's not fighting against a revival unit so there's that so yeah as well as again it does combo pretty well if you do actually encounter a situation where you do cause a character to revive so there's that so yeah that's his unique so now we move on to his arts cards now his strike cards i decided not to give him blast armor because i mean there wasn't really a moment in the fight where he just straight up flew through blast like his whole gimmick is just dodging and i feel like he's already dodging and all that he already has all the stuff in his kit he's able to restore vanish gauge with his main ability and all that i felt like i should i felt like it would it was the best decision to not give him blast armor i don't know at least he's debuffing the enemy as he combos them with strike cards so at the very least it will allow him to do more damage as he combos as well as also it will apply it to you know the whole team and all that so it's kind of like a little bit of support buff somewhat because at least it'll allow your other characters to potentially do more damage since the debuff is applied against the enemy so it's a pretty nice effect i guess i don't know sure whatever the blast cards i decided to give it blast or anti-armor basically just he does an extra 100 percent blast damage if flipped it against blast armor I decided to give him to that because he's literally fighting against Jiren who has blast armor and typically when they always release like like characters are kind of like counter or not really counter but like they coincide with each other so like goku and frieza usually when they release them they always have they always give those characters effects against each other or whatever same thing like gohan and cell or maybe like goku and kid boo or whatever like kid boo i know does additional damage against saiyans and all that super saiyan 3 goku especially the purple one he does additional damage against regen like full power frieza does additional damage against sun family so he doesn't do additional damage against universe 11 because that would suck that would suck so bad there's there's literally barely any universe 11 characters in this game so i decided to give him this so that way it's counter it's it's a counter to jiren in a way against his blast armor but also it's a universal effect so you can actually have this come into play against like other characters like ultra gogeta and all stuff there's that oh my god that's something i forgot to give him actually i forgot to give him a way of going type neutral damn wait oh <laughs> I, I meant to do that actually. I actually did meet. Uh, all right, well, I've added the type neutrality. Here we go in the main ability. Might as well, sure, whatever. I actually legitimately forgot to add that, so sure, whatever. I just added it real quick so that way we can continue on. I don't have to freaking restart the recording from scratch, especially since it's still thundering outside. So let me move on. Yeah, uh, anyways. Yeah, you know what I mean by this. Just it's a good ability to have, and it's it kind of somewhat like hints, or not really hints, but like, you know what I mean? It's a good ability to have on a blast card, sure, whatever. Anyways, yeah, you know what I mean. Anyways, blue card, God Kamehameha. I can order the grid over here. I literally don't know how to edit the grid. So it's it's a it's a Kamehameha. It's a beam. So yeah, anyways, just imagine it's like this. Sure. Yeah, anyways, anyways. God Kamehameha deals massive impact damage. 30% special move damage inflicted for three counts upon activation. And then restores own unique gauge by 50% on hit and cannot be nullified by most other special moves. So obviously, you know, I had to make it so, you know, that way Kamehameha feels actually like on another level like a god. So obviously, you know, you can't counter him whatsoever. Or you can counter him like Namek Goku and all that stuff. But at least if you want to clash with him, his blue card is just going to override your blue card. So unfortunate for you at that point as well as also i still wanted to retain a way of him potentially you know restoring his unique gauge and all that on his blue card just like you ui goku and all that and at least this one will actually work better since it is a range blue card compared to ui signs blue card where actually um he it's a dash forward blue card but his is actually not even that great because his doesn't even have blast armor so that also does hurt him quite a bit as well so there's that and oh they get some damage on the blue card so that way you can actually do good damage so there's that anyways that way it actually feels like a god comment uh anyways green card again ignore the grid i literally 
don't I, I I don't know that anyways uh this green card I'm just more so meant to be actually a again a ranged blue uh, not blue card green card so it's kind of something like uh 17 18's green card at least when you're soft with 17 like the finger beam or whatever that he has uh LF Rose's green card or Wobble Freeze's green card those types of green cards was like a range attack and all that or even like yellow perfect selves green card from back in the day sure whatever yeah uh basically I decided to give it to him might as well since there was a moment in the show that he actually like he did a key blast like this against Jir and actually if I'm not mistaken it's literally the SSR for uh uh LRUI Goku again in Dokkan actually I can literally put up a, like a screenshot on it right now on screen so there's that that's where the reference is from in terms of making a range type green card so there's that but anyways in terms of what the green card actually does uh plus 5x2 self upon activation he does get 50 key upon activation and 20% damage for 15 counts also if you want to get into technicality stuff uh let's just make this a quick animation sure might as well let's make the, the god kameha a long animation and then the green card a short a quick animation sure might as well yeah anyways because the green cards are just gonna be him doing this so might as well just make him dodge short whatever anyways uh, and then the fall effects occur on hit so obviously if you actually land the green card uh he draws a strike card next so it's gonna be good for combo extension and all that as well as also he destroys all the enemy's cards as well as also he inflicts all enemies with three sub counts so obviously it is kind of like a lock in ability so that way you can get in that one card just safely don't have to worry about anything i know he already has special cover change notification but again the special cover change notification only lasts for the first 60 counts maybe if you're like later on the fight you know you just want to make sure you get an attack and or whatever you want to finish off a certain enemy you know at least he has a lock in a way of locking the enemy and it, obviously special cover change notification doesn't solve everything so obviously what if the enemy has like a character like they can swap out and you want to target a specific unit but you know they can swap out well guess what just pop this green card as long as they don't have a character that can lower sub count you can just rush them or throw the ultimate or whatever and you're good to go so there's that i guess as well as also he cancels enemy attribute upgrades activates twice so Pretty good ability, so very good green card overall. Uh, destroy enemy cards, it kind of depends. It can be useful, but if you do like a full combo, by the time your combo's done, especially if you have card draw speed, since he does have card draw speed, obviously, right here. Uh, by the time your combo's over, your enemy will probably have cards already. I'm gonna be honest, I just put this here, just to have an extra line of text just to make the green card more intimidating, so there's that i mean it's a good ability as well so there's that i don't know it can come in handy but anyways green cards are very good for sure still and then we have the ultimate finally a godlike assault deals supreme impact damage of course since that is the highest damage modifier multiplier that we have in the game as of right now i don't imagine they would do one higher than that at least as of right now we shall see i don't know who knows i might do universal impact damage but i'm gonna put supreme impact damage there sure whatever and then applies the fall effects to self upon activation he gets 50 percent ultimate damage inflicted for three counts uh, as well as he does completely ignore uh sustain damage cut for three counts as well as also he of course nullifies endurance for three counts with the ultimate and then has blast armor of course tradition so there's that uh so yeah hello well real quick before we move on we have the z ability I actually did the z ability too might as well sure so obviously at two stars he will be giving 22 percent to god key based strike attack in defense and then at three stars it jumps up to 26 percent strike attack and defense for god key and saiyans and then at six stars I actually implemented the uh you know the thing they've been doing with z abilities lately where basically they kind of give like a pure buff to like a a certain tag and then they on top of them giving like their normalized the ability buff so i decided to give uh make him give two percent to strike arts damage inflicted for your saga saga but basically that means he's giving two percent to pure strike damage i'm assuming so pretty good ability yeah we don't have one yet for strike arts damage inflicted for your saga saga so might as well just make him the one especially since he is a melee based character here at least so there's that and then obviously giving 32 percent to strike attack and defense for god key and saiyan and then maxed out if you were having a 14 star so you'd be giving three percent to pure strike attack for your saga saga and then 38 percent to strike attack and defense for god key and saiyan so there's that but uh yeah made him pretty pretty good i do think he came out pretty well this is my first like custom made kit or whatever i made for a character so it's not gonna be the most perfect and all that in fact again i literally even forgot to give him a certain effect in his main ability earlier but there's that uh made him pretty good let me know what you guys think down in the comments and all stuff 
I think he came out pretty well. So there's that. Uh, we'll see how accurate I am to his actual kit when he actually does come out in game. So we shall see, I guess. I don't know. But there's that. But uh, yeah, uh, I guess in terms of some other characters, maybe you can leave down in the comments below what some other units you would like to see me potentially make some custom made kit concepts for and all stuff in the future and all stuff. I think obviously, it, you know, as part of that poll, since these tag Super Saiyan 4s were the second highest voted option there, I guess I will probably be doing the next actually might as well so there's that i'll probably be doing that video sometime soon we shall see so there's that but anyways hope you guys enjoy the video if you do make sure down below and also sub to the allocation bell to never miss out on up but we're on the road the 300 subs before anniversary so be very much appreciated you know if you haven't already subscribed yet and also if you enjoy my content and all stuff be very much appreciated if you could hit the sub button it would mean a lot to me so there's that but anyways that being said i will see y'all in the next one peace out have a great one y'all